Good day, everyone. We will discuss on error message none of the IP addresses configured for the availability group listener can be hosted by the server in this video. Let's get started. This is the environment that I'll be using for this video. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 are configured as an uh, always on availability group synchronous replica and JBS AG3 is configured as an uh, asynchronous replica. The point to note is like um, uh, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 has a different subnet than uh, JBS AG3. So we have an uh, always on availability group called JBS AG and database JBS wiki is added to this particular uh, availability group. So we will be configuring uh, the listener JBS APP in this video and then uh, let's see if uh, everything works fine. Let's uh, head to the uh, always on availability group. Let's uh, look at the always on uh, dashboard. And uh, if you look at it here, JBS AG1 is the primary replica, AG2 and AG3 are the secondary replica. So let's refresh the always on availability group. And then let's head to uh, uh, availability group listener. Let's right click here and click on add listener. And let's name this uh, listener as JBS APP and uh, port should be uh, 1433 network mode we will select a static ip and then uh, what we'll do is like we will add an ip address here which would be 172.20.1.20 uh, everything seems to be good now let's uh, click on ok here yeah. so if you see here yeah, we are getting this particular message which is basically none of the ip addresses configured for the availability group listener can be hosted by the server JBS AG3. So this is very, very specific. So if you look at the database replicas, we have JBS AG1 and JBS AG2, but the error that we are seeing is specifically pointing out to uh, JBS AG3. Let's head back to the environment diagram. And as I told you earlier, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 servers are in one subnet and JBS AG3 is on a different subnet. Now, this availability group basically contains JBS AG1, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. And this is a multi subnet environment. Now, when we are configuring this listener JBS APP, we have just given the IP address that is present uh, as far as this uh, uh, primary East US um, uh, servers are concerned, uh, the IP address that we have given. But while creating the listener, we did not give any IP address that is present as far as um, uh, the subnet which is on JBS uh, AG3 is concerned. We have not given any IP address there. So what happens is like, let's consider um, uh, we create this uh, listener without uh, the uh, IP address that is present on the JBS AG3 subnet. This is not going to work out, but let's consider if we are creating it now. When we fail over this um, uh, availability group from uh, East US, maybe from JBS AG1 or JBS AG2 to JBS AG3, what will happen is like there will not be any corresponding IP address for um, uh, the listener as far as the subnet uh, uh, which JBS AG3 is part of. In that case, the listener will basically uh, fail, which will not happen, but just for understanding, I'm giving you an uh, example like what will happen if uh, we are able to create without an IP address uh, related to uh, JBS AG3 subnet. So that's the reason uh, we are getting this error stating like um, we have created uh, the listener only with the IP address for uh, uh, this particular um, subnet, but uh, 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 we have not added the IP address related to JBS AG3 uh, uh, subnet. That's the message that is uh, basically we are seeing uh, uh, when we are trying to create this listener. So the solution, uh, what we will have to basically do is like, we will basically have to um, uh, create um, uh, another um, uh, um, IP address for the subnet as far as JBS AG3 is concerned. So if we look at it here, as soon as I click on add, I was able to see this particular subnet. So let's add 192.168.1.20 and then let's click on OK. And then now if we click OK here, this time, um, I'm just waiting for it. Um, it is trying to create. 
if you see here, this time we were able to successfully create the listener. So the error uh, basically like uh, is kind of self-explanatory. It basically told us like uh, uh, it's a multi-subnet environment and uh, whatever subnet is um, um, utilized as far as uh, these three servers are concerned, for each subnet, you basically have to add a IP address and configure the listener accordingly. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.